Now behind me is the latest vehicle to be added to GTA 5 Online. This is a new armor vehicle, the Night Shark. It is a diesel motor powered four wheel drive armored SUV. And we have some more vehicles to this. The um, Insurgent and the Insurgent Pickup are both in the same category as this, but I think this is better. Not only is it much more room on the inside, but I was going to give you a brief demonstration to see just just how fast this vehicle is for an armored vehicle. And it has side exhausts. Who doesn't want side exit exhausts? So, uh, let's just see how fast we can get down this runway. Okay, come on. We're at 50, 70. Come on, there's 80 miles an hour. This is very fast for an armored truck. Come on, we're at 90. Come on, 94, 95. Can I get to 100? No, brakes. Those are very good brakes. Good God, those are very good brakes. <laughs> that was surprisingly fast. For a um, stopping distance. Now, I went to an airport because I wanted to show this vehicle's party trick. Which makes it different than the Insurgent. And much, much better. The 7.62mm NATO rounds, quad machine guns at the front of it. And, uh, well, we're just going to test it out on the plane here, see how many bullets it takes to, uh, especially if it's lined up. Yep, uh -huh. Oh, I love this. This is... This can't go wrong with some good old machine guns. There we go. <laughs> So it's not, it might not be the most effective machine gun ever, considering you can't aim it, or it's rather low so you shoot the wheel most of the time, but we're going to quickly do a um, ballistics test to see what this is going to be our baseline comparison to Prius. How many bullets does it take to destroy this? Oh. Not many. Not many at all. <laughs> well. Now that we've seen the Prius's very terrible attempt, we are going to uh, try the ballistics test on the on the night shark. So let's just um, try out the pistol. Huh. Okay, beer gun. Uh, let's get a beer gun out. Oh, he broke the window on it. He broke the window on it. Come on. Okay. So the windows are not completely bulletproof. They're bullet resistant, but not bulletproof. Let's get a bigger gun out, because it's clearly not for the vehicle. <laughs> Ooh, fun. Huh. Bigger. Well, how do we get bigger than this? Let's try um, a little delivery. Alright, C4 Flash is explosive versus armor truck in 3, 2, 1. Oh. Huh. Well. I guess you gotta try again. It doesn't. It, it, it only has a few scratches on it. Let's kill one bigger, shall we? Let's uh, go, grenade launcher. One shot. <laughs> Boom! Now. Did it just... You still didn't destroy this stupid thing. It did open the doors, though. <laughs> it did open the doors on the passenger side. So, um... It still runs, though, and... I think that shows just how strong this vehicle is. Considering it survived a grenade launcher shot, sticky bomb, multiple rounds of assault rifle, shotgun, and pistol. <laughs> And you know what? Now, with my um, slightly battered armor uh, truck, we're gonna see if it was, let's do a road test of it just to show how road worthy it is accurate. Now, the insurgent pickup is rather big with the giant gun on it. It's very difficult to get in the city. But this 
is not that big at all for an armored vehicle. Since it doesn't have a turret for the machine guns, it has them on the front. It saves roof space, so you don't scrape the roof of your garage. In fact, without modifications from your mobile command center, which costs around $1.2 million, um, and the vehicle workshop, which probably is $500,000, so you're in um, two, no, you're in $3 million for the insurgent pickup to be able to store in your garage. This is $1.2 million from standard, and I think the insurgent pickup would be struggling to fit through this gap here, and yet this car does it very comfortably. Now, it's also useful for normal things, like, say, you're boxed in. You, and someone's trying to, and someone's behind you so you can't back up. Well, thanks to the monstrous torque figures from this diesel engine, we are, um, just gonna drive forward, if you don't mind. You see, it's simple. You just push it out of the way until you feel like it is comfortably relocated. No problems, no problems at all for the Night Shark. And it's a very, it's, a, it's just a perfect all-around vehicle. It fits on the road nicely, it doesn't hit your garage roof like the Insurgent, you can store it in your garage for a base price like the Insurgent, unlike the Insurgent pickup. And it has guns on it, what more do you want? <laughs> And then I just, um, just, just park it, just, just park it here, there, there you go, now I'm centered. Now, for a price tag of 1.2 million dollars from standard, it is more expensive than the Insurgent. And it does have more, um, buttons and dials on it that, than a space shuttle. And I still only know what two of them do, but it's truly a perfect car for Los Santos.